Hello friends, in this video I will explain to you the use of range function to form a for loop. So for loop along with a range function. Range is an inbuilt function in Python. What does the range function do? It generates a sequence of numbers between a start value and the end value which is provided as an argument to the range function. You can see that inside the range function start, stop and step values have to be you know, provided as the argument. And you can also see that start and step these arguments are put in the square brackets meaning which these are optional. So mandatory argument is stop and if you ignore the start value the iteration will start from 0. So the start value is taken as 0 by default and step value is taken as 1 by default. If you want to change the default values of 0 and 1 by your specified values you can give the value of start and stop. So the range function will generate those numbers from the start number to the end number. What the for loop does is it takes up one value at a time the for block will process that that value of that for variable and go to the next iteration till the range is completed. So this is the use of range function. Now I shall demonstrate an example which uses the range function in couple of different ways to understand the behavior of range as well as the for. For statement traverses the list that is provided to it. Now the list can also be constructed using an inbuilt function in Python called as range. Range function constructs or produces the numbers between the given starting and ending value. So there are three different variations of range function. In the first case, range 5. By default, the starting value of any range is 0 if the start value is not explicitly mentioned. And the end value or the stop value is the number minus 1. So range 5 will generate numbers from 0 to 4. Now, this for loop assigns each value if, uh, in this range to the variable called num and prints it out. So you, you expect the numbers to be printed as 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The second variation of range function, the parameters to given to the range function, there are two parameters, one is the start value and other is the stop value. I mentioned that by default start is 0 but if you want, if you explicitly say that the range should start from this and end up to this. So in this case the range 1 5 will be able to generate numbers from 1 to 4. So what is this for doing now? It is taking up one value at a time out of this range assigning that you know variable or that value to this variable and printing it out. This is the body of the loop. So you expect numbers to be printed from 1 to 4. And the third and most generalized format of range function takes three parameters. By explicitly mentioning the start, stop is of course mandatory for range function. And by default the incrementation of start to stop is by default by 1. You can specify the step with which the incrementation is required to be taken place. So range 1, 6, 2 this function will generate a sequence of numbers starting from 1 going up to 5 and incrementing by 1. So the sequence of numbers generated will be 1, 3 and 5. Now each number uh, which will be generated which will be assigned to the variable called num and it, it will be printed as a result of execution of these loops you know, for each value of 
the number in the sequence. So, the output of this loop is expected to be 1, 3 and 5. So, the use of range function rather use of the for statement to traverse the range is demonstrated using this script. We will run and see the result. So, as we expected this is the output of the first for loop for the range is uh, range is up to 5. So, by default it starts with 0 and goes up to the given number minus 1 that is 4. In the second case we mentioned range from 1 to 5. So, the starting value is 1, stop value is 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. And in the third use of range start, stop and st step which was equal to 1, 6 and 2. So, starting from 1 going up to 5 with a frequency of 2. So, the number generated is numbers are 1, 3 and 5. So, using for using for statement to traverse the numbers generated by the range function.